Church and it's time for the COD News. My name is Omar. During the past several weeks, Christians in Egypt have suffered the worst attack in centuries. Radical Islamists spurred the violence, but the onslaught is being met with the love of Christ. Exclusive video obtained courtesy of CBN News shows that the inside of a church was completely gutted and the altar destroyed. The churches weren't the only targets as properties and businesses owned by Christians were also destroyed. Perhaps the most shocking was the destruction of a Christian orphanage leaving about 200 children without shelter. But the Christians who run the orphanage left a message for the attackers on the building's exterior wall. You meant to hurt us, but we forgive you. God is love. Everything works out for good. They also wrote, Love your enemies. Speaking to CBN News, the Vice President of the Bible Society of Egypt, Ehad Tanaz, also recounted how the society bookstores was damaged. We have been operating, we have workshops in the streets, in main cities, in Cairo, Alexandria, Tanta, <coughs> Upper Egypt, and it has never happened in the history of the Bible say. Even as the persecution rages on, they have responded as Christians. And they want us to keep on praying for them. We respond as every other Christian has responded in Egypt. We are in Egypt to serve, we are in Egypt uh, to demonstrate the Christian love. We, uh, we do every effort uh, to be self-restrained and to show the Christian love that the Lord has uh, taught us to show. What happens in Egypt affects uh, the Middle East. So we ask them to pray for the country, we ask them to pray for Christians, we ask them to pray for the Middle East. And we also ask them to pray for the, for the, uh, for the government, for the existing government, that the Lord may give them wisdom, guidance in every decision they make. The annual Women Conference Arise 2013 will be taking place on the 26th of October 2013 at 11 a.m. right here in the sanctuary. The theme for this year is Tiny Seeds, Great Impact. We are calling on all our sisters to create time to attend and also invite their friends and family as it promises to be a wonderful time in the presence of God. Ask of you one thing that we desire that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. Arise, 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 take your highlights of this year's edition will be the provision of mobile clinics to various communities. These mobile clinics will be fitted with state-of-the-art healthcare facilities to provide quality care to the communities they will reach. According to the World Health Organization, these mobile clinics are capable of reaching out to people who hitherto didn't have access to proper medical care, and this is the vehicle through which the handmaidens will reach the less privileged in the society during the conference. Join us this Tuesday for an awesome Digging for Gold service right here in the Sanctuary at 6.30 p.m. The Handmaidings Fellowship is back. They will be meeting this Wednesday for a special prayer fellowship tagged Back to School Prayer at 12 noon. And here is calling on all our women to create time to attend. On Thursday, there will be prayer, praise and Pentecost service at 6.30 p.m. also in the sanctuary. On Friday at noon, here is Lord Praise Hour, which is a one hour session of total praise and worship holds in the sanctuary. All our services are streamed live at www.codonline.org and you can log in from any of your devices if you're unable to make it to church. 
The Business Network Fellowship in partnership with Fate Foundation will be commencing a two-week entrepreneurship course from the middle of October 2013. The Capacity Building Entrepreneurship Program is designed for aspiring entrepreneurs, providing basic skills, tools and network required to start and run successful businesses. This program aims to improve the entrepreneurial intelligence of aspiring entrepreneurs by exposing them to the fundamentals and best practices in entrepreneurship. Interested entrepreneurs should contact the Business Network team. Still talking about the Business Network Fellowship, they'll be having a special business prayer meeting with Pastor J.T. Kalajai on Saturday 28th September 2013 between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. This is a special meeting for business people and budding entrepreneurs. This is a reminder that Heaven's Gate series, the life-changing inspirational Christian soap opera, will start airing internationally from 1st of October 2013 on the following channels. Saturday, the 28th of September, from 10 a.m. to noon, the Heritage Group will be holding a prayer meeting tied, Battle of the Sea, for those believing God for the fruit of the womb. Those who intend to join the Workers in Training program and have submitted their forms should please check with the church receptionist downstairs. As we go into this week in our month of everlasting joy, May the Almighty God, who changed the story of Jabez from that of misery to unspeakable joy, come through for us in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the City of David, where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today. I can't speak yet because maturity hasn't granted me confidence. I'm embarrassed for being weak and quiet to avoid embarrassment. And quietness is seen as helplessness. That's as far as I've gotten. Have you even kissed the boy? Yeah. No, you haven't. I have to. Show me that. Caught my eye the very first time I saw her. She caught your eye. Okay. Now I know ain't nothing going on here, is it? Is it? If you lie to me, I swear I will slap the sparkle out your eyes.